one of her own is a brilliant film but exceptionally frustrating i absolutely loved it but it's difficult to watch this was released in 1994 directed by armand mastroani i apologize if i pronounced that incorrectly i almost certainly did and written by valerie west and stars the fabulous Lori lachlan which is why i was initially drawn to it and then i read the description and just fell in love with the idea so the description from imdb is quite long so i'm just going to summarize it Police officer Tony Stroud is currently on her probation. She's got three weeks left until she's no longer a trainee. And everything seems to be going really great for her. And then one of her colleagues does something to her that is absolutely horrific. Um, I won't say what it is. I won't spoil it. Um, maybe towards the end of this I'll say what it is because it is kind of the... It's, it's essential to the plot but I'd rather you went in with no knowledge of the specifics because it just makes it all more shocking. But he does something horrific to her and suddenly everything goes wrong for her and she has to make a decision of whether or not she tells on him, basically, because there's an unwritten rule that you do not tell on one of your own. And the police officers all look out for each other. Ordinarily, nobody would speak up if somebody does something wrong, but this is such a horrific thing that she has to try and work out should she speak up and if she does what are the consequences and I did not expect things to go so badly for Tony in this it really is disgusting the way she's treated it's hard to watch because she's increasingly made out to be the bad person in this when she has done nothing wrong and things just get progressively worse and worse as the film goes on and it's so infuriating but it's it's very gripping and I really wanted a certain outcome. The ending, I won't say what happens of course, but the ending was good in a way. But I also felt it was a little almost anticlimactic. I was really expecting a powerful ending that really packed a lot of punches. It was a little bit flat and just kind of drifted into an ending. But it wasn't a bad ending and it didn't leave me feeling like the film had been ruined. It was still pretty good. I particularly loved Reginald Phil Johnson in this. He plays Detective Himes. And there was just something about him and his character that really stood out for me as being being really likeable and, you know, a character I would have liked to have seen a bit more of, actually. Martin Sheen is in this. It's a really, it's a really, really brilliant film and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think it's massively underrated. It's only got 174 reviews on IMDb. I think it could definitely get a lot more attention. Um... It obviously touches on a very sensitive subject. Spoiler from now, that subject is rape. Tori is is raped by her colleague, Charlie. And obviously other women start... Well, she doesn't come forward at first. And then other women do. And then she realises she needs to speak out. And if she had spoken out sooner, she could have prevented some of those attacks. And she's working in a predominantly male industry you know, more often than not, a police officer, certainly in this time, is going to be male. And most of the people are sticking up for Charlie, and then things start to go horribly wrong for her with her career and her life, and then her parents' life, and it's so frustrating, because I just want to... I just want to grab the characters who are not listening to her and shake them. And I don't know how she didn't punch anybody. But as I said, it's a really brilliant film, very well developed. I think it's done very sensitively. I think it's pretty realistic. I think it's a realistic interpretation of how this would have been handled. I think it probably would have been a bit better nowadays. I feel like people are so consciously aware of doing the right thing. Certainly, um, the heads of police are aware that, you know, everybody could turn against them and it could just go horrifically wrong if they don't take the right action. One of her own is a million times better than I expected. As I said, would have preferred a slightly more powerful ending. But there's definitely nothing wrong with it. I'd watch it again, maybe after a a little break to um, get over how frustrating it is. But it's rare that a film is this. That makes me feel so much anger. It's very good, very well done, and I, I completely recommend it.